This video is brought to you by Tunes Kit Ace Movie. Tunes Tunes Kit. Tunes Kit. Ace Movie. Ace Movie. Tunes Kit Ace Movie. Tunes Kit Ace Movie. Now I remember. Good. <laughs> Hello video editors. I am Sally Ali and welcome back to Sally Tutorials. In today's video we are going to talk about Tunes Kit Ace Movie Video Editor. Tunes Kit Ace Movie Video Editor is best suitable for those people who are linked with video editing and the video creating industry. It helps you a lot for making any type of video either animation video or promotional video for your clients and for you. You can use it for making any social media platform video either for YouTube, Facebook, or any other platform. In our experience, Tunes Kit Ace Movie is great for beginners who need some advanced functionality for video editing. It is similar to Wondershare Filmora, in how it is intuitive and easy for beginners, but it allows you to do much more. Tunes Kit Ace Movie Video Editor is available for both Windows and Mac. The setup size of the software for Windows is 60.8 MB, and the setup size of the software for Mac is 74.5 MB. You can visit its official website and download the Ace Movie Video Editor. Let us now show you how to use Tunes Kit Ace Movie Video Editor. 1. Screen Recorder You can see the record option on the top right of the media, click on Record for Screen Recording. Tunes Kit AM Recorder gives you a lot of settings, you can adjust different types of settings if you wish. Click the record button to start recording. Then when you want to stop recording, click on Tunes Kit AM Recorder in the tabs below. The recorder will appear on the screen, from here you can pause and stop recording. I stop it. You can see how powerful this screen recorder is. 2. Import Footage You can import a lot of footage into Ace Movie Video Editor simultaneously in different ways. Click the Media Import button, select files from any folder, and click Open. Another way to import footage. Click the Import button on the top left of the media, and import footage from any folder. And the third method. Drag directly from any folder to Ace Movie Media. 3. Add footage to timeline. To add footage to the timeline, drag and drop any footage from media to, to the timeline. Four elements. On the left side of the software, you can see that there are many tabs. In this video, we are going to discuss about all the tabs. The second tab we have is elements. There are too many elements in this tab. You can apply it to video. Drag and drop any element on the timeline. You can easily make it bigger or smaller on the display screen. It also contains some of the elements that you will download. Turn on the internet connection and click on the download icon. You can use it after downloading. Five, audio. The third tab is for audio. There are many audio tracks. Drag and drop an audio track into the timeline. You can put these audio tracks in the background of any of your videos. Split the extra audio and press the delete button from the keyboard and delete. Then click on audio and you will see audio settings on the right side. Here I adjust the fade in, fade out and volume of this audio. 6. Text The fourth tab is text. Here are some nice text samples in this tab. I drag the text narrow to the timeline. Click on the text, and at the top right of the timeline you can adjust all the settings for the text. In the first box of text you can edit the text and write something else. You can increase or decrease the font size. You can put any footage in the background. You can change the text color. Here you can find any color. These are font styles that you can apply. You can create spaces between text. In the effects tab of the text you can make the text bigger and smaller by step. Here you can adjust the text outline settings. This is the shadow color of the text. This is the offset of the text shadow. 
And this is the alpha level of text shadow that you can adjust to your liking. You can also increase or decrease the duration of the text. 7. Effects In the fifth tab we have the effects. There are many more unique effects that really enhance your video. Easily drag and drop any effect into the timeline. Remember that the video should be in the bottom track and the effects in the top track. 8. Transitions Video transition is a post-production technique used in video editing or film to connect one shot to another. Often when a filmmaker wants to join two shots together, they use a basic cut where the first image is immediately replaced by the next. The sixth tab has a lot of professional and beautiful transitions, which I really liked. These transitions allow you to promote your video much further. Drag between any two footages on the timeline and make the footage beautiful. 9. Animations The seventh tab has two types of animation effects. One is called motion and the other is called animations. Both animations are very easy to use. Just drag and drop on the video. Ten. Regional. For the eighth and ninth tabs you have to click this scroll down button below the tabs, so that you can see the tabs below. Inside the regional you will see amazing effects. Like I drag the mosaic effect to the timeline and hide this girl's face. If you want to apply this effect to the face throughout the clip, you have to split the effect frame by frame, and apply the effect to the relevant place on the display screen. 11. Split Screen The ninth tab has a lot of amazing split screens. I was amazed to see how many amazing split screens there are. Drag one of these split screens to the timeline. As soon as you drag it to the timeline, a page like this will open. The left side is showing you the footage on the media. If you drag and drop any of these footage into a box, it will be put in the split screen. You can adjust the different settings of the video you dragged in the split screen here. Such as adjusting transform, compositing and adjusting the tone. 12. Export. You need to save the video once the video editing is complete. So for that, you have to click on this yellow export button. When you click the export button, a page like this will open. Here you can save videos in different formats. Such as HDMP4, HDM4V and HDAVI etc. The second tab of this page also gives the option of devices. If you want to export for a particular device, you can export, whether you export to iPhone or Galaxy and Huawei or any of them. The third option is to export to the web. For YouTube and Facebook etc. So we go back to the video tab and we want to save this video in MP4 format. You can rename the video. You can select the folder in which you want to save. You can select thread count and resolution. You can save in small resolution, custom resolution, or high resolution if you wish. Then when you've done the export settings correctly, click the yellow export button at the bottom again. And wait for the video to be saved. In the folder where you saved the video and you want us to find that video easily, click the Find Target button. So you can see that my video has been exported and it was easy for me to find it. I hope you enjoyed this short video about Toons Kid Ace Movie Video Editor. So if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, keep creating better video with Solid Tutorials. Bye.